Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes and limited editions and occasionally do some hauls. And I have yet another Timu haul. I know some of you are a little burnt out on those, but this one is different because it is unsponsored. I went ahead and purchased these products myself. My first three unboxings were sponsored by Timu in terms of them giving me a budget and allowing me to select items. This time around, I decided to use their app. Now I will leave an affiliate link and code for you. The code is FAVE, F -A V as in Victor 3545 and that will save you 30% off but if you are a new user of the app it should also give you a hundred dollar coupon so I think you might have to like spin a digital wheel and it'll tell you what your coupon is but when I did that the first time that I decided to use the app for this unboxing it gave me 50% off up to $100. So whenever I would select an item, I would get 50% off of whatever the Timu price was. And so basically I could use that and get $200 worth of stuff for $100, right? Because I was always getting a 50% discount off of things. So I think I did really well. I wound up spending, including the tax, just under $80 for 18 items, you guys, 18. Now, because I was able to do those previous unboxings that Timu gave me the budget for and sent the items to me, gifted them to me, I knew that the quality of Timu is, is decent for the prices. So I got a smattering of uh, apparel because I am still preparing for an upcoming trip. I got some more accessories. I got a couple more like travel things and a few more things for the home. So we are gonna have to go at a pretty quick clip, but of course I would absolutely appreciate your comments I will leave that link for you and if you have any trouble with the app the easiest thing to do is just kind of to type in the description of what I kind of said if you're looking for something in particular and usually that will come up all right guys let's start with some of the clothing because I got a ton of it now I will say that the clothing didn't come in those nice thick plastic bags like I received with my clothing in my first haul that were like kind of frosted and said team on it but I don't mind they're still all like labeled and they still all have um, their nice uh, packaging which is fine because you're mostly gonna just discard those so I thought this dress was adorable now usually I'm between a large and an extra large on Timu they do have these sizes in terms of the dimensions of the products but sometimes it's still a little bit hard even using the size chart because you might be somewhere in between because usually I'm anywhere between an 8 to a 12 and sometimes that kind of covers two sizes it does have this ruched back which I thought was really cute the opening here in the front at the bust actually does tie so you can uh, adjust it to fit you and it does have adjustable straps the one bummer about this and now I did try most of these clothes on so that I could tell you a little bit more about the fit since I don't do try-ons this one did come ripped now I could have the option especially with your first order you can do free returns otherwise you do have to pay for the shipping label but I don't have enough time in all honesty to do that so I'm probably gonna try to fix it myself because it is a pretty easy fix it's pretty cute though it's got these nice layers it's just above the knee and I thought it was a really sweet little sundress that I could wear for spring and summer and then of course if I need a little bit more coverage I can just put a little uh, denim jacket over it so that was the first one that I got and I was really happy with it it's a uh, large in sky blue the large was the right size for me when it has any like ruching or give to it large is usually gonna work for me the best and it was eight dollars and 48 cents and then half off of that right this I thought was really nice this is a it's just called a ruffle dress. It came in a couple different colors, but this was kind of like, I'm thinking of it as a cover up. And it's the kind of thing that you would find in a like nice, like luxury resort um, boutique. So can you see the material? So it kind of has that like grid material weave to it. It's got these big ruffle sleeves. It's a very boxy fit. Now this is the large and it's still really oversized on me. This was $12.99. It does have this tie. And then these uh, buttons at the top actually are buttons so they came unbuttoned and I went ahead and looped them it's just like a little elastic loop so like the first five buttons I think but it has a really great loose fit it's actually very slimming sometimes kind of looser fitting things can be kind of slimming it's got a nice ruffle at the bottom and this is like perfect for a cruise for a vacation it's a little bit sheer but in a good way but I could still wear it to a lunch or um, you know for just casual on the go kind of shopping excursion so I really liked that and thought that was a great deal for what I get it for it's like 650 
Now we're getting into all the rest of the clothing items that I got were an extra large. Some of them were a perfect fit depending on the material and the cut and some of them were a little bit too big and I'm actually going to wind up sending them back. So this is the women's 1950s retro rockabilly dress that I got in this daisy print. I thought this was cute. It was $12.49. Again, I got it for 50% off because it was my first app order. Um, so I thought it was adorable. So it's got these daisies. There's a little tie that you can do. It's got these three straps on each side. This one is also ruching, so I should have probably known, but you can even see in the bust, like on the armholes, it's just way too big for me. Like, honestly, it's kind of a thinner, like, um, you know, a little bit more of a parachuting material than I thought, that kind of slicker polyester material. I thought it might be that thicker stretch cotton. It has that like retro flared midi fit, which I absolutely love, and kind of a higher A-line waist, which I also like. This would have probably worked for me in the large, but again, I wound up with it in the extra large. It's just way too big and I have to send it back. But it was really cute, so I would definitely try more in this style, and it was a better material than I was expecting. Let's look at one more dress and then we'll move on to some other items and then we'll come back into our apparel and everything. So I'm trying to keep track of my bags because you do have to put it in the right bag if you're gonna return it. Here's another one that was really cute. It's the ditzy floral print dress. A lot of these come in different colors. This was $12.99. It's a little bit shorter. It was almost a little bit too short. It almost looked a little bit too young on me in all honesty. It does have these cute, um, again, it's got those stretch buttons. Now the problem with that is it's, it's open all the way down. So it was a little bit revealing even though it was loose. It's not like it was gonna pull or anything but I just didn't like the fact that usually I like the fact that it's a real button versus like being a faux button that's just sewn on there it doesn't have any functionality but in this case because there was like no lining and um, you could actually kind of see your skin through there depending on how you moved or stretched I wasn't into it it was really cute but it was a little bit big I probably could have done a large in this one as well because of the boxy fit but I thought the color was really pretty so if I had more time and I knew because the shipping does take you know seven to ten days I would say then I probably would have like maybe exchanged it but in this case I got so many dresses to choose from that I'm gonna go ahead and send it back so that uh, daisy one the sort of retro fit the flare fit and that uh, ditzy floral print dress I will be sending both of those back all right let's talk about let's talk about some accessories so I got three different pairs of earrings. I got these personality, they're called personality yellow flower earrings. They were $1.78, so divide that in half, they're less than a dollar. I thought these were so cute. Don't these look like Kate Spade wannabe earrings? I, I thought they were adorable. They're kind of like, um, they're, uh, I thought they were gonna be metal, honestly, that's what they looked like online, but they're actually clay. They're clay with that little metal in the, in the middle. I just thought they were, really really cute now I will say that they do usually come a little bit bent like the post is a little bit bent so I'm always kind of nervous and trying to be kind of careful when I'm bending them back into the shape there's usually like a little foam backer to try to prevent that from happening but it doesn't always work now I will say that I don't have sensitive ears so I can usually wear almost anything uh, I haven't tried these on yet I only tried on the clothing to tell you but they're actually a little bit lighter weight than I thought they would be because they are not metal but aren't those cute? I would probably put it like a little bit more of a tighter backing on it. Those ones feel a little bit loose to me, but I thought for like the 75 cents that I paid for them or 80 cents, they were a sweet deal. So I also got a pair of more elegant earrings. So I'll be doing a lot of earring try-ons here for you. These are the long tassel threader earrings. Now you guys know if you watch my channel that I love threader earrings. I just think they're really versatile and really elegant. These were $1.28, and then again, because it was my first app purchase, they were half of that. So they have this nice piece of metal that spirals in gold, and then they have a nice long threader. And that's what I love about threaders is they're very adjustable in terms of how long you want to wear them. And then there is a stopper on the back, and you can put it along the chain however high you want so that you can adjust it and make sure that they don't fall out. But usually threader earrings for me, I don't have any trouble in terms of them falling out. In fact, that's why I like them because they're so lightweight that I usually don't even notice that I'm wearing them. So they're actually really great for me for yoga as well as travel. And I just think they're really, really fun. All right, I have one more pair of earrings to share with you. So like I said, I got three pairs of earrings. I thought these were adorable. They were also a dollar twenty-eight, and they're very, very on trend. 
hopefully we can get through everything. They had these in a variety of colors to choose from. They're the clay rainbow earrings. Aren't those cute, you guys? So they had them in some brighter colors as well. For $1.28, I mean, those are awesome. Usually those in boutiques are gonna be way more expensive than that. Um, so I went ahead and got those in the more like neutral colors just because I figured that's what I would use more. They're a little bit whimsical. They're very like kind of boho chic. They actually came with a couple stoppers on the back, which you guys, whenever I do these Timu unboxings, doesn't matter if it's sponsored or not, uh, they get a little bit messy. So what's interesting is I feel like this top disc right here, I feel like that disc is actually plastic and yes the bottom is rubbery it's um, more of a rubber than I would say like a clay so it's not like a hardened clay but those are adorable too and super cute for spring and very like modern right um, they have that handmade look to them so I got all of those earrings for each pair was under two dollars and then divide that in half I just thought that was a great deal. So you can find fun jewelry. I go for the more whimsical jewelry versus the like, you know, supposed to look like gemstones jewelry, but I thought it was pretty good. Let's go back to the clothes for a little bit. So this is my ditzy, oh, I already did my ditzy floral print dress, didn't I? So there must be another one that I have to hold off on. Now I have my elegant lemon print graphic dress. Now this is another one, I got it in the large because I was worried about the material. And this is that more starchy stretch cotton. Can you see the difference on this material? But you guys know I love lemon dresses. I already have four of them. And I'm kind of conflicted on keeping this one because it's really cute. It's got that same retro style. I love that it's got the thicker strap so that I can wear it with a regular bra. The bodice of it fits me just right. It's like perfect, especially with a bra. It's it's great. It's a little bit of a higher waist. This nice flare skirt all the way down. Really, really cute. The only thing is the neckline is a little bit high. Like it feels a little bit high. Um, these are just sewn on buttons. It's supposed to look like a little apron strap, but they're just sewn on, which I don't mind at all. But the fact that it fits me perfectly perfect made me really really happy and it doesn't even have a zipper it's just got enough stretch in it that it fit so I'm not sure if I'm gonna hold on to it these buttons also are not real buttons as far as I know um, oh no they are but there's a nice um there's a nice panel that goes along the back of the buttons so even if they open up a little bit you're not gonna see anything like with that blue ditzy floral dress so I like it it's just a little bit stiff it would require some steaming or ironing on the go but I just love my lemon dresses so I feel like this is a really classic print and so I might hold on to it because this lemon graphic print dress you guys this was my most expensive piece this time around it was $24.98 I think the finishing on it was decent but again I got it for half off because it was my first app purchase and so I wound up getting it for $12.50 which just seems like it's kind of worth keeping for that right all right so let's see what else we got I think this might be my floral print retro dress let's see there was one in sky blue I am so sorry guys the floral print retro dress in sky blue was the other one but this is the re mm, I don't know I have to find it floral print dress there's another one this is the ditzy floral print dress in blue that's what that is and that like light blue one that I must have showed you before the sky blue one that's the retro dress so the retro dress must have been um 10 29 this one is the ditzy floral print dress I believe it's I got a lot of blue things but it's more of a column dress so for me it just didn't have enough flair it was pretty much like just above my ankle so it's kind of an awkward length and it did have adjustable straps it was pretty cute but I'll have to double check you guys and see and maybe I'll put a list for you in the description box below so that I have that correctly but I did get this dress I believe it does say the spaghetti dress this might be correct. This would be $11.38, $11.38, and then there's a floral print retro dress that might be coming up. So the sky blue one was correct. The sky blue one was, was that $12.99. This one was $11.38, and I will be returning it just because it's long. It does have a slit on one side, which I thought was kind of a nice detail but it was only on one side and I think I would have liked it more if it was on both sides just to give the dress a little bit more movement so let me see if I can find that maybe it didn't I think it did though I think it did and that's why I, I kind of gave it a try even though this isn't my usual silhouette but 
Um, I, I, I didn't wind up liking it very much. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the last two items because I do have some more accessories and travel things to share with you. I believe that this is the floral print retro dress. This says sky blue though and honestly this is like kind of a green color so this is sort of a faux wrap dress now I just personally even if they're a higher waist do not look good in wrap dresses I will say this is a really nice silky material though and if it is the one that I am actually thinking about then this would have been um see I didn't get anything it says sky blue black 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 blue multi blue navy blue <laughs> So I think this one though was 1138. I will do my best you guys to write a list for you in the description box below But it was just way too big on me once again It did have a little bit more flair It did have this big ruffle at the bottom and it was floor length It was more of a maxi dress, but it just it wasn't the right dress for me And it, again, I needed to go with a large instead of the extra large. I was kind of overestimating things and then finally let's talk about I got this top which I'll probably send back because I don't see myself ever wearing it It was $13.39 again. I got it for half off, but look at the print look at the cats It's very like boho. It looks like something like you know your crazy art teacher would wear It's kind of got this nice um, lining though that gives it a little bit more fluff to it It's a little bit boxy now. This is an extra large but because of the fitted shoulders and arms I needed the extra large so the extra large in this case was the right size for me it was $13.39. I don't know that I'll ever wear it, but I was just uh, it, like the color of it and the little cats on it really appealed to me. And I know that this used to be like a little bit more my style in all honesty, this like boho with like, you know, like some bell bottom jeans. And it's just not something that I really wear a lot these days, but I thought it was really cute. So I went ahead and got it. All right, let's talk about some of the uh, travel items that I got. We have to go a little bit faster. Sorry about all the confusion with the dresses, you guys, but I did, I got like half of them were winners. And the ones that weren't winners, it was just because I got the wrong size. Now they have this in a bunch of different sizes. This is actually the, this is the leaves pattern travel pouch and this is the pillow shape. So they have them in various shapes. I always like this kind of boxy pillow shape because it's really good for cosmetics, but also small bottles can stand up in it. In the green, it was $5.98. It's a nice canvas and it does have a nice liner inside. Sometimes these makeup bags don't come with that liner that you can wipe clean. And for me, that's like crucial for it to be an actual functional beauty bag. And this one had it as well as this little like loop for hand carry. So I thought this was really great and I might get more of them because they have a whole set in various sizes which I really like. In terms of uh, travel accessories I also got this sunglasses case for $6.48. They have options where it can hold two pairs of sunglasses or three. In all honesty I probably wouldn't be taking more than two but sometimes it's nice to switch it up right. So this is nice it's got kind of a velvet lining a uh, velvet covering on the edges this faux leather here and then you open it up like this and this is where you can put your sunglasses. So I thought that was really really nice and it just kind of kind of folds up has a nice magnetic closure. I thought this was great for travel in all honesty to protect your good sunglasses. So I went ahead and got it. Now I'm kind of thinking I maybe should have gotten the one that has it slots for three. Um, it's not going to fit your like super giant fashion sunglasses, but it is nice to have options. I got this cute little flower decorative throw pillow. This is eight, uh, this is 11.8 inches by 19.7, but you can see the actual embroidery on it. It does have that texture. It's not just printed. This was a whole $4.89, and then, of course, it's got a zipper, so you can just get the form fill, and I thought this was really cute for spring, and I just wanted to see the quality before I got more of them, but I love those little embroidered flowers. I thought those were super duper cute. I got this uh, one piece plastic flower vase. Now I thought this was really cute, but it is plastic. It was only a dollar and eight cents. They had it in a variety of designs and patterns. And then I also got some uh, pompous grass, some faux pompous. I got uh, three in white and three in coffee. So they all came separately, but I'll just open maybe one of them. So this set, uh, it says five pieces, but I think I wound up with, oh, I wound up with three in cream and two in coffee, but I just thought they might be nice for some of the vases that I have around the house. 
and it was 839 for all of them but each of them it looks like has five pieces in there which is pretty darn good you guys oh yeah so I got three in coffee and three in cream and each of them has five pieces so I thought that was really good and then you could just you know rebend them and have this on your shelf for where you uh, don't always have fresh flowers so I thought that was pretty darn good let's see what else I got I have a couple more items you guys oh I got this funny little throw rug I don't know if I'll be able to open it up but they came in various colors and I went ahead and got it in the dark gray they're shaped like a heart but I just thought it would be a, a good backdrop sometimes it's a heart shaped area rug I got it in dark gray it was a whole 378 how cute for like your bathroom or at your sink it looks really like silky it's just kind of got the simple backing but I just thought this would be cute for some of the photos that I take for products it's really soft it's probably gonna shed all over the place but they had it in a variety of colors so you could definitely check that out and finally you guys I got one more scarf I thought this one was a really really pretty just little nice um, neutral tones would probably go really well with those rainbow earrings that I got and let's see how much this cotton and linen women's scarf was four fifty eight. dollars and again if it is your first purchase on the app using that link that I'll leave for you you can get it for half of that so again my total was $147 I wound up getting everything that you're seeing here with the with the tax included for $79.23. I think this is a really nice scarf. It looks very chic. It's very soft. This is the one I'm probably going to use for travel just because it's going to go with so many items and give that little pop of color that you need. So 18 items, you guys. Uh, half of them were clothing items for just $80. You guys let me know in the comments below and check it out if you haven't already. I'll see you soon in my next unboxing.